wait a second, that's just the 707 pattern playing with 909 sounds. What's going on? Today, I wanna to talk about making presets in XO by XLN Audio. I got this software around Black Friday, got a great deal on it. I really enjoy it, but when it came to making my own presets, I was running into this pretty big issue, and I think that I can't be the only one having this issue. So let's make a video about it. So I have XO loaded up here and I wanna start making a preset. I have a few presets saved here. I did a bunch yesterday then I just thought they weren't working. I thought they weren't saving correctly. When I would switch presets, the, the sounds would be different. I wouldn't get the same sound every time I loaded a preset. And for what I wanted to do, I wanted a very specific set of samples and they were just not working. Basically, I wanted to pick a certain sound library and then make some sound packs based on that library, rather than everything from my entire library, just at this point, just to learn the software. So I've got something made with a 707. And another one. And then one from the Prism library. And when it's working right, that's how it sounds. So let's go ahead and start a brand new preset, starting with the init preset. Load that with the green uh, button at the top. And now let me just search here 909. I want 909 samples, the TR909. So I know that the red dots here are going to be my kick. Fine sounding kick. We're going to hit the green check mark there. Kick two. Let's find another kick. Let's take that one. So I'm just doing these one at a time. This isn't always the way that you'll approach making presets, but this is how I've been doing it the last couple days. Sure, I like that one for a clap sound. That's gonna be over here, perfect clap sound. Just make sure that you click on the dot here and that will allow you to choose a, one specific sample. There we go. And then check green check mark to confirm that. Um, when you type in at the top, that's gonna filter your kind of universe of, or constellation of sounds, continents. I don't know what they call it. But we're limiting choice of samples to something in a specific category. So it could be hats, it could be the, the name of the drum, whatever. Let's do that one for the close hi-hat, then op open hi-hat, for flex. Yeah, sure. And then last one, okay. So while we're on this page, we can still program a basic pattern or a not so basic pattern, whatever you need. Um, let's put in some kicks here, press play. That's something to get started with. That's a preset. So we're going to hit the save button here. We're going to call this 909. And let's just say dash A, because that's the first one. You saw there that it said, this has already been used, a big warning there. You gotta click off of the text field, can't press tab. You gotta click somewhere else. Then it will check if the name has been used. Then you can, can hit save. Now let's go to load and let's go back to my user folder. Here's how this drum kit sounds. 
We'll go back to the 707. Wait a second. That's just the 707 pattern playing with 909 sounds. What's going on? There's my prism library preset playing with 909 sounds. What's happening? You gotta look over here. Right here, the search and filter will pop up after you create a preset. I don't know why, but this happens. Bypass this, and then when you click on a preset, it's going to play the original samples. There's my 909, 707, 707, and Prism. When this is on, And yes, sometimes you get great, interesting results doing that. But when you're just loading a preset that has a certain sound that you want, it's easy to overlook this search and filter function on the presets page because it's not usually there. When, when you're just browsing presets, when you first open XO, you don't see that window. So just be aware that um, here in the in the top, there's gonna to be that yellow dot when that's active, because you can have it active but hidden, and that's going to affect your preset selection. When you double click it, depending on your search results or how many variations there are, you might get a completely different kit every time you click on that preset. And then you, when you bypass the filter later, you realize that it's not what you've been programming drums to. It, it just changes on you randomly. Hopefully, I'm not the only person in the world that has had this issue. Yeah, the search and filter function, useful, but not when you're loading presets, in my opinion. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, XO is a great drum sampler. So many fantastic features in this. That one thing, uh, yeah, I, I gave up. I deleted all my presets from yesterday because of that function. As I was listening to my presets and comparing them, I realized I made some mistake, I missed something, and finally today I realized that there was that search and filter uh, function active. Hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog on Patreon and visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.